This is a world first, a quantum bit based on the nucleus of a single atom in silicon, making possible powerful quantum computers of the future. The nucleus is the core of the atom, just a millionth of its overall size. And what we've done here is to demonstrate that quantum information can be written onto the spin or magnetic orientation of the nucleus and then read out with very high accuracy. Our work brings us one step closer to a fully functioning large-scale quantum computer. And our nuclear spin qubit sets a new benchmark for accuracy in solid-state devices. In existing computers, information is stored as a binary code of zeros and ones, called bits. In a quantum computer, however, these are called qubits, and we are using the spins of single atoms to store this qubit code. Our nuclear spin qubit rivals what many consider to be the best quantum bit today, that of an atom in an electromagnetic trap stored in a vacuum. That technology won last year's Nobel Prize for Physics. Last September, our team reported in Nature magazine the world's first quantum bit based on a single atom in a silicon chip. There we were able to read and write information to the spin of its electron uh, and read it back out again at a later time. With this latest result, also published in Nature, we've been able to dig even deeper into the atomic structure in order to read and manipulate the spin of the nucleus, the core of the atom. This means that it's more challenging to measure, but it's almost completely immune to disturbances from the outside world. And that makes it an exceptional quantum bit. And all this was done in silicon, which is the material used to store information in your computer and your mobile phone. What this means is that our qubit is compatible with the standard industry technology. And so we are confident that our single atom, single nucleus quantum bits can be put into production one day.